Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Turok, issue number one. I think this is a jumping on point. <laughs> so, let's get started on who actually made this book, and I'll tell you briefly about it. So we got Ron Mars writing, Robert Castro uh, on art, colors by Salvatore Ayala, I did my best there, and letters, a different world studios' Troy Pateri. The, uh, actually, there are a bunch of covers here, and I'm sorry, I love all you guys, but I'm just not getting into all those covers. So anyway, um, this was pretty fun, man. So I think most of us know the, the character Turok because that N64 game, I never owned it, but I played the demo version more than enough times, which is just, you know, you only get like five minutes playing before they'd cut you off and the whole system would reboot and you'd be like, ah, crap! <laughs> but you just jump right in and you just play the same game again. You keep on running. And, you know, but whatever, like shooting arrows at dinosaurs is effing awesome. Now, I don't see any arrows going into dinosaurs, but I did see arrows. I did see dinosaurs. So we're getting there. That's called progress. All right. This is actually something of an origin story, which I'd never actually seen before because I never played the game. Maybe it was in the game. Maybe it was not. Probably wasn't. But basically, Turek is a Native American from back in the 18, late 1800s. Um, I think it said 1876, something to that effect. I'm not cracking it back open to look. And they're in Colorado. I'm thinking to myself, the only dinosaurs that I can remember offhand that were in the North America region that were really dangerous would be the Velociraptors. So, you know, actually, was it the Velociraptors? I think it was a different kind of raptors. Different kind of raptor. Anyhow, yeah, there were raptors. So anyway, um, yeah, we see a raptor in this, which is actually kind of historically accurately cool. Just saying. Um... Anyway, uh, we, we, yeah, we get that basic origin story for Turok to a certain degree, just how he got to the dinosaur world. Uh, he's also there with his brother and probably going to be there with a couple other people also. He's either going to have to team up with or kill also, but either way. So this comic book essentially ends with him arriving in the dinosaur world. I am going to get issue number two and issue number 40. And however many issues this comes out, if it's just going to be like this, all right, uh, this is not too much thinking. I'm hoping there's going to be some survival in this. I mean, this is the kind of comic book I would really like to write myself. I would love to just write something where you can actually implicate, not implicate, um, what do you call it, include survival skill stuff and shooting, you know, bad things. I'm thinking zombies are overdone, but dinosaurs are never overdone. There's never been a time where someone's like, oh, man. Another dinosaur movie? Go ahead. How many people have ever said that? Go ahead. You can count them on zero hands. <laughs> this is a very fun comic book. And yeah, I'm a little jealous that these guys get to work on it and I don't. But, you know, it is what it is. One day, uh, prove my worth. Earn my salt. In the meantime, I'm going to read the hell out of this. This is fun. And that's the cue. The voice is about to go. Still sick. All right, guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.